hello everyone so now let's do one more lab for the ESA firewall I hope you remember in our previous class we enabled the telnet and SSH now we need to enable the HTTPS okay so we can access our device that is our ASA firewall with the browser also if you want to access your ASA firewall through GUI how we can enable that one we are going to learn I hope you remember in our CCNA, CCNP, we enable HTTP with the router also. HTTP, HTTPS, that is port 80, port 443, we enable with the help of router. We, we enable in the router before. Okay, let me show you. If you want, I can show you that also. And also now in the today main topic, we are going to learn how we can enable the HTTPS in our ASA firewall. Okay, so let me do here. Okay, this is the R1. Let's see, do we have IP or not in this? We have the IP 1.1. So I need to write IP HTTP S server. Okay, IP HTTP server. Let me write press enter. So with this one, we enable the port 80. Okay, if you want to enable the IT uh, port 443 also, we can do. We will write IP HTTP secure okay secure server we can write and press this one so what I done with this command with this command first one I enable the port 80 on this router and with this one I enable the 443 so anyone who is having the access they can access this router with the HTTP and HTTPS okay this we learn in our CCNA CCNP already now our main topic we need to learn how we can enable HTTPS that is port uh, 443 in the ASA firewall so we can access with the help of GUI with the browser okay but anyhow let me show you how we can access this router so this is our window okay window XP I am using here we can use uh, any machine I have here XP so I use XP we can use window 11 window 10 but they will consume more RAM okay so this is our machine what I will do now I will try to access the router okay so what is router ID 192.168.1.1 I will press enter if you see it is asking me the username and password okay so I remember before we create user if we don't have we will create okay let me check admin 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 okay so we don't have the user so let me create the user here so what I will do, I will write username, admin, okay, privilege, 15, password, admin. So I create the user. Now we can access with the help of that, that user. Admin, admin, I press enter. Now we can access this router. Let's see what error we are getting. Admin, admin. Let me close this session, open the new session. Okay, let me make this window big. Close this browser, cancel. Close this browser and now open the browser. This one we are doing in router. Already we know this, just I am showing you. I can use any browser. Okay, let me type the IP. What is IP for this router 192.168.1.1. Okay, now it is open. Let me write the username and password. And also one more thing, if you remember, uh, we need to write one more thing also. Let me, first of all, let me test. If not, then I will enable that also. Admin, admin, I press. Okay, yeah, because uh, I need to enable one more thing. Let me show you. Okay, I need to write one more command. Let me write that one IP. Because I forget to write this one. Now I will write IP HTTP authentication local. Okay, authentication local and press enter. So now we can access that one. So let me cancel this and let me refresh and do this one. Okay, now let's try to write admin. I wrote the user and password. Now we can access. If you see, I can access the router. Let me show you. Okay, if you see, I am able to access the router with the HTTP. Okay, here I can uh, write the commands. Example, if I want to execute some command, I can write here show IP interface brief and I can press. You can check the 
interface status of the router. So this way also we can access if you want to run some more command show run anything we can do with the HTTPS also. So with the browser also we can access we can do so many things. If you want to do configuration we can go in here and we can configure also. So what I am doing? I am accessing the router by using the browser. Same like that we can do for the ESA firewall also. Okay, and for router what I done, if you see for router I use this command IP HTTP server to enable the port 80 on this router and IP HTTP secure server to enable the port 443 and I told here IP HTTP authentication local. So use the local authentication and this is the local user. Okay, present in the router and we can access this one. This one we done for the router. Now we need to learn the new thing that is how we can enable that in the ASA firewall. So let's see that one. This is the ASA firewall. Password I keep admin and let me check here. Username here. Okay, show. Let me check do we have the user or not here. So I will write show run user. Okay, username. I think we don't have show run. Let's see. We have IP to the interface and do we have the user? Maybe I did not save. Anyhow, we can create user. Anyhow, let's see how we can do that one. So what I will do, first of all, I will go in the uh, global configuration mode. Now I will create the user. I will create same thing as we done in the router. Same like that. We will create the username. Okay, username I can give admin. Admin and the password password or privilege password let me check okay user name admin press question mark and here password password I can give admin only okay and then I will give privilege privilege I will give 15 so what I done I created one local user now I need to enable the HTTPS so how we will enable this is the command we need to write HTTP space server enable okay with this command we will enable the HTTPS after that we need to enable inside or outside so I will write HTTP after that I will write the network ID in this network we need to enable that one inside so I will write 192.168.1.0 space 255.255.255.0 and then inside because we need to enable this inside okay and also we need to say local authentication so in this firewall we need to write triple a authentication okay authentication http and then console is a keyword and then local then we need to write local press enter okay so this way we will enable in the ASA firewall so let me show you what I done here if you see first thing I create one user this one local user I created in the ASA firewall then with this command I enable the HTTPS and then this is the command with this one I am saying inside all the guys whoever using this network allow them and here I am saying when they are uh, trying to access check the authentication locally so whatever user created locally check that one okay so now what we will do we will go to this browser and we will type the ASA firewall IP this IP 192.168.1.100 so let me write here I will write HTTP let me go here HTTP One ninety two dot one sixty eight dot. What is that IP one dot hundred? Let me press. If you see, you will get the connection error because we are not having the certificate. And also, this is a very old browser, so maybe we will face some issue here. But anyhow, let's try. Here, let me use the different browser. This is very old browser let me check again let me open
first of all 192.168 1.100 this is the IP of our firewall interface this one if you want I will show you what IP we assign to the firewall show IP okay so if you see this is our IP inside and here we need to enable the HTTP so let me go here right HTTPS okay HTTPS because of the browser issue this is very old browser try again or uh, I need to change the browser I think we can uh, I can connect to my PC also if I want to access if we have the browser issue so but the problem what we will have we need to put the IP for the same subnet if I am connecting with my physical computer okay so wait one more thing we can do instead of using this Mozilla we can try this one if it work here okay if not then we can check that one the other, other browser so let me write https double colon 192.168.1.100 and press enter let's see here maybe this browser will support this is also very old browser actually it is not supporting the TLS SSL okay so other solution is we can connect our local uh, interface I need to create the local loopback in my computer and connect here so we can access with the help of that one ask me later if you see this website close continue with not recommended and here update or later let's see yeah I am able to access here see here this one what I done here this is I am here I am using the Internet Explorer okay and if you see here what I done I type here HTTPS and the IP address of the firewall when I done we have this page from here we need to download the ASDM we need to install this ASDM in our computer in the physical and we can access or in the local this uh, this virtual PC which I am using Windows XP we can install here with the help of that one we can access the ASA firewall so what we learn here we enable the HTTPS in the ASA firewall and we test when we type this IP they are giving us the page with this page we can install we can uh, download this one okay here we need to write the username example I give admin and admin when I put this one it will be there we can save this file in our PC and install that one and open that one after that we can access the ASA firewall also okay let's try or later we will do in detail this one later we are going to do in detail but just I am giving you the overview about this one so let's see let me minimize this browser and let's see where is ASM okay if you see this one and I need to type the IP of the firewall 192.168.1.100 uh, and the username is admin and password is admin okay after that we need to press ok and they will give you some uh, uh, what we can say some notes after that it will open I will say continue and it will launch okay it will take some time after that we can access the ASA firewall with the uh, graphically we can access with the graphically same like in uh, 40 gate firewall Palo Alto how we are accessing with the help of uh, GUI same like that we are able to access and we can do the configuration later we are going to do in detail in deep now just I am giving you the overview what we discuss it will take some time to start this one okay it will take some time it will uh, take a little time so but for uh, now you need to understand how we enable the HTTPS in the ASA firewall okay this lab is for only this configuration in this one we are going to learn how we can enable the ASA uh, HTTPS in the ASA firewall later we are going to see other thing other stuff okay so telnet we already learn SSH we already learn now what we learn we learn how we can enable the HTTPS in the ASA firewall okay see you in next class we are going to learn other stuff in the next class thank you bye